the hell is wrong with you back there? What? Brad, you lost your shit, like, big time. You almost killed me. What? What are you talking? Come on, no, no, come on, that's ridiculous. Well, what the fuck is going on with this ship? Because, I gotta be honest, it feels like there's some, like, like, evil, like, literal evil going on down there. Let's just stay calm and relatively sane about this, okay? The stuff I saw, it's like there were these old soldiers, they were bodies, they were dead, but then they came alive and- That doesn't sound that crazy right about now. I saw something. This, uh, uh, this old lady. I mean, she was batshit crazy, like dinosaur old. Not that that's a bad thing, but she just, like, up and vanished on me. Alex wasn't the only Alex. What are you talking about? There were things walking around with his face on them. Alex's face, it, it was horrifying. Julia, I'd never hurt you. You know that, right? No, I know, it's just... Let's time out, okay? This place is too fucked up to just be fucked up. You know what I'm saying? I mean, like, something is going on here. So what do we know for sure that we can all agree on? Am I crazy or are we on a ghost ship? Like, ghost ships are real and this is one and we're totally on it and oh, holy shit, we're so totally fucked? I was gonna say the same thing. Well, I know we're not the first people to see weird shit here. Apparently the guards were super freaked out by something they saw in the cargo holds. We found a note that said a bunch of guys tried to get out of guard duty because they were really freaked out by something. What do you think actually happened to this place? A goddamn mystery box is what it is. Did you see the gold? Anything? Manchurian gold isn't actually gold. It's a fucking chemical and it's leaking all over cargo hold too. I found this safety manual. It seemed to be geared at people who have to handle chemicals that can cause heart palpitations. What happened to everybody on this ship? Where did they all go? This all feels more like a mausoleum than a ship. So where did all the corpses come from? They actually look like they've been scared to death. We know more than we did before. That's something at least. We're wasting time. Whatever we do, we have to do it now. Time to get off this ship. We're not going anywhere without the distributor cap. The Duke needs it to run. Hold on. The ship's gotta have a radio. If we can find it and use it... That's great, but do you think it still works? Just need to find a way up there. We gotta get off this damn ship. No shit. I think we're, uh, speaking clinically, totally effed. I know it sounds crazy, but maybe it was these guns that took down the plane from our dive. Great. Could've used these if they weren't Swiss cheesed. Find a way up? Sadly, no, but I'll keep my eyes open. Hey, a little help over here. I think this is our way up. Give me a lift. Oh, 
I'll pull you up. This is... This is where I chased Gunrad before. Huh. I, I thought it looked familiar. Over here! Got a way through here. Find a radio yet? No, but there's got to be a radio on this ship. There, there has to be. I'm not exactly confident about our chances of survival at this point. Something's wrong here. If you were headed to San Francisco, you'd be crazy to take this route. It's almost like they didn't want anyone to know they were coming. Like hide and seek out in the ocean? was blown off course, cloud cover was bad. They couldn't establish a position. Take a look. No freaking way. This thing actually still works? Well, radio science hasn't changed much in 70 years, as long as there's power. I'll give it a whirl. Ah, it's working! It's a number station. Military bandit. Let's ask them for help. Hey, hey, is anyone out there hearing this? Hello? Over. Holy shit, we got him. Uh. If you can hear us, we're on a ship, an old freighter. Our coordinates are approximately uh, 12 degrees 30 minutes south, 151 degrees 20 minutes west. Please get here now, we need help. This is an emergency! Please, help! Hello? Hello? Is anyone out there? Please, come in! Yo, guys, check it out.
This has got to lead somewhere. Maybe we can find a way to get the power back. We need to get that radio working. I think someone should wait here in case a message comes through. I gotta be honest. I don't think I'm gonna make it down there in my shape. I'll go, obviously. I can do this. I should be the one to go. Are you kidding me? You? Come on. <laughs> Sounds like you're scared of someone stepping out of your shadow. Scared of my idiot brother getting himself killed? How about showing me some brotherly love? I got this. I'm not losing you to this fucking ship. I'm coming too. Hey, what? Julia, no. Uh, you're not always gonna be there to protect, big guy. I can handle this. Trust me. I'm still the captain of something, and the captain's telling you that I'm going to. All right. You and me, Fliss. Okay down there? I'm okay. So, what's next? I don't know where the hell we are. I'll wait up here by the radio. Hey. This way. of the ship. You know your type is growing by the hour now, huh? Hourly now? I would have thought we graduated to charge it by the minute. Noted. In your invoice. actually seen clearly for the first time in a while. Nothing jumped out at me. So, the ship was carrying Manchurian gold. But that turned out not to be gold at all. It's a toxic chemical. And there's this weird fog everywhere, right? Well, maybe that's Manchurian gold. And maybe we're breathing it in and it's fucking us right the hell up. This is kind of making sense. None of that stuff happened. I was hallucinating. We knew the crew was scared of something and that could be it. Yeah. Maybe so. Could this have anything to do with the wrecked plane from the dive? I don't know. It seems like the plane came in contact with the ship, but it's just a theory. Wow. Okay, let's keep going.
this? The ship was anchored. I wonder why. this the rebreather i bet the fisherman brought it from the duke you think it still works uh it's got maybe a few minutes of air left worth taking with us it's gonna slow us down mm, no forget it it's too heavy to drag along with us no we should take it parts of the ship are completely underwater No! Je t'en prie! No! Je t'ai dit de la fermer, sale menteur! Ferme ta gueule de merde! Tu dis n'importe quoi! Tout ce que tu racontes, c'est des conneries! Alors, ferme ta sale gueule de merde! Écoute. Écoute-moi. Non. Fais pas ça. Ta gueule. Ah Je t'avais dit de fermer ta gueule. to uh, steer clear of it. Yeah, we gotta get out of here now. Hiding, you little foot. What's the problem with sharing all that gold, eh? There must be plenty of that to go around, more than enough. And we're all in this together, right? Trying to cut me out of the deed? <laughs> you can't have all the gold. Then I'm to be left here to die. But I am the captain. Oh, 
long do you think this door is? I was just gonna ask you that. Changing. Stay away! Stay back from the mist! Hey! There's no mist, man! Don't breathe it! Don't breathe the mist! Wait, wh what is this mist? What does it do? It's life! Bringing things to life that shouldn't be alive! It's inside now! Inside with us, now! You need to slow down! Stop! Stop! It's in one of us, isn't it? Put the gun down now! Why would you say that? Why are you telling me what to do? Yeah, you breathed in the mist! It's happening! I can feel it! Dude, there is no mist. Oh. Ah! No! 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 This way, I guess. Oh, come on! This is like that fucking movie with the ship and the, the water. Way less dancing. God damn it. Don't I get a stunt double at least? There's 472 rivets in this room, which can only mean one thing. I've been in here way too long. Hey! Is anyone hurt down there? Shit. I gotta go after him, don't I? We gotta go make sure everyone's okay. Jesus, did something go wrong? You're gonna stay here with the radio. I'll go after them. Seriously, Connie? You're not gonna be able to talk your way around a maniac with a gun. I'm a big boy. This is my mess, and I'll clean it up. Watch yourself down there. I'll make the call as soon as the radio comes back on, so you better hurry the fuck back.
God damn. How the hell big is this place? solution here.
Okay. I guess it's time to see if it's working. that took our boat. I thought there was gold. He wanted the gold. That's all this was about. Venturian gold. Well, that turned out to be quite a bit different than we expected. You know, I just keep going over it and over it. And it doesn't make any sense, you know. Just... And I know what I saw. I just... don't believe in... whatever it was that I saw. I saw Alex. It wasn't Alex, it was someone else. But they looked just like Alex, and he was sneering at me. That's it, game over. You're done, for now at least. You could always try again, see if you can't do better next time around. Impressive, almost everyone survived. Almost. I suppose when the curtain falls, you're either ready for it or you're not. It's all about decisions, isn't it? Decisions made in a hurry, in a panic, made with the heart instead of the head, or vice versa. Sometimes those decisions take a long time to have repercussions. But there are repercussions. There are always repercussions. Till we meet again, maybe in Little Hope, maybe somewhere else. But be certain, we will meet again. It's inevitable. So out of nowhere, this thing just sent out an SOS. Guess we got a real life ghost ship here. Whoa, what the hell is this? <laughs> 